Hi everyone and welcome back to another video and if you're new to this island, welcome to Taiwan. My name is Lucas and I spend most of my time traveling around Taiwan making YouTube videos because I want to show off all the beautiful locations Taiwan has to offer and also show how my life on this island is in general. But the reason for this video is that last week when I was done shooting a video, I was on my way home, I ran into three German exchange students who literally just came here with a flight that morning and I ended up spending a lot of time with them making sure that they got the new SIM cards and a good nice meal of new romien. And of course they also had some other questions as well because this was their first day in Taiwan. Luckily they ran into me who has been here for a little bit longer than that. So I was able to help them with most of the questions. So Toby, Johannes, Caro and all other new exchange students, tourists and other people that just came to Taiwan planning on staying here for a while. This video is for you and I just want to quickly cover my top 10 tips that you should know on your first couple of days in Taiwan. We're gonna start right away with number 10 and that is that you always need to bring an umbrella anywhere you go. The weather in Taiwan is crazy. Even if you wake up and it's just the most beautiful morning, the sun is already super high, it's super hot, it will most likely start to rain in the afternoon. And especially now in August, September, October, it is typhoon season. And if you're an exchange student, your teacher is gonna do a pretty good job scaring you up for that first typhoon. And they will tell you stories like, take shelter, stay indoors, and there will be no more food in the supermarkets. Uh, it's partially true, if you would go right before a typhoon day, there will be a lot of shelves in a supermarket that will be completely empty. But you will always find food, you will never have to starve. Your favorite restaurant may not be open, 7-Elevens usually are, and, and other stores like McDonald's or KFC. You will definitely survive, but I do understand why teachers are trying to scare you up, because sometimes it could be pretty intense. Tip number nine is how to get food, and it's actually very, very simple here in Taiwan. If you're hungry between 6 a.m. and noon, all you have to say is pick and dumping, and you will get the most delicious type of bacon omelet you have ever had. If you're hungry between noon and midnight, you say new romien and you will get the most delicious bowl of beef noodle soup. However, if you find yourself in a location where there are no restaurants around, you just add the phrase Tsainali afterwards and any local Taiwanese will help and point you in the right direction depending on the time of the day. Which brings me to tip number eight and that is that you can always ask local Taiwanese people for help and you will very soon realize the Taiwanese people are among the most friendliest you will ever come across in the entire world. It doesn't matter if you're lost for directions, if you just need help translating some signs, whatever your problem might be, whatever you might need help with, Taiwanese people will be there. Most Taiwanese people will also be able to help you in basic English, but even if they don't speak a single word of English, they will still be patient, they will still take their time and help you out, point you in the right direction, help you translate or anything else that you might need assistance with, Taiwanese people will always be there for you. Speaking of which, before we continue with the rest of these tips, I just want to take a couple of seconds and to thank Mary Go Round for really helping me out right now. If you're already subscribing to my channel, then you know that last week when we was in Jinmen, I accidentally broke my camera. But Mary Go Round, which is a camera rental company in the middle of Taipei City, has been super supportive. As soon as I landed back home from Jinmen, I sent them an email because I knew I was in a lot of trouble and I had no idea how I was going to continue making videos for you guys. But Mary Go Round was kind enough to lend me one of their cameras free of charge so I can continue making videos for you while my own is being repaired by Canon. So if you're interested in renting any kind of camera equipment, please check out their website after watching this video. These guys are super friendly, it's super cheap and convenient to rent stuff from them and they also have an English version on their website. Okay, so let's continue with tip number seven. Let's recap. If you're hungry between 6 a.m. and noon, you can have pagan dumping. If you're hungry between noon and midnight, you have new romien. But if you're hungry between midnight and 6 a.m., you have 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven here in Taiwan is so much more than just your local convenience store and you can literally do anything you want inside a 7-Eleven. Uh, except recording videos apparently. So if you're gonna live in Taiwan for a while, 7-Eleven is where you go to pay your bills, take out money, pick up your online orders, book concert tickets, 
They can even do the laundry for you. So when everything else fails or when you've had one too many chou tofus on the night markets of Taiwan, 7-Eleven is your go-to if you want any type of food. They have hot food, cold food, cold food you can turn into hot food. They have everything. Tip number six might be overkill for short-term visitors, but if you're gonna stay in Taiwan for some time, if you're an exchange student or here for any other reason, you definitely wanna pay close attention right now because you might already know about this card, which is an easy card. This is your MRT card, your transportation card, the subway card. You can ride the MRT, the buses, you can use this in your 7-Eleven, Family Marts, and a lot of other restaurants as well. But what you may not know is that there's another type of card which pretty much looks exactly the same and to 95% of the time it works exactly the same as well. You can use your iCash card to the MRT for the buses for pretty much the same type of restaurants as your EC card if that's how you prefer to pay. So why do you need to have a separate card? Well, this iCash card is a collaboration between over 40 different companies here in Taiwan including McDonald's, Burger King, Cold Stone. If you don't know what Cold Stone is, then tip 6.5 is just stop watching right now. Google where the nearest Cold Stone is, go and have the most delicious type of ice cream you've ever had, and then come back and continue the rest of the video. Starbucks and 7-Eleven. And the benefit of this is that you will sometimes get special discounts. For example, 7-Eleven very often have, if you buy two cup of coffees, the second cup of coffee is half price off. So although this card costs 100 NT, you can buy it in any 7-Eleven. You should definitely invest in one of these cards. They also have a point system. So for every 300 NT you spend in any of these companies with this card, you will get one NT kickback. So if you have been staying in Taiwan for a while, that will definitely accumulate and you will be able to get a bunch of special coupons and deals and promotions all for free just because you're using uh, this iCash card instead of the normal EC card. But just remember that if you're a student and you do have the student ID with the EC card function, then you will probably already have a student discount for all the transportation. So you can use the EC card for transportations and iCash for coffee. And of course, all those other companies as well. But Coffee is where you will make all that money back. Tip number five is just spend a couple of minutes to learn very few, very simple and very common Chinese phrases so you can easier communicate with the local Taiwanese people. The one phrase you will use absolutely most, no exception, is 我不会说中文 which ironically means that you do not know how to speak Chinese. And another useful phrase that you will probably use on a daily basis is 不用谢谢 which means uh, no need or that you don't need anything uh, which you will use if someone in a night market tries to give you a plastic bag or a straw that you have no use for at the time. The third most useful phrase you should definitely try to learn as soon as possible is "都可以," which means that anything works, it doesn't matter. I would say that there's no better way to learn the Taiwanese culture, especially the food culture, than to just go through a night market and say "都可以" to every vendor that tries to offer you some kind of food. It will not take many days before you have tried all the different and straight up weird dishes they have here. And I guarantee you with this tactic you will also learn so much Chinese super fast because you will definitely 100% learn all the Chinese names for all the dishes that you don't like because you will never want to try them again. Tip number four is to learn the rules of the Taipei MRT. Now, it's very easy to figure out how to go. Every MRT station has a map in any of their exits and you can just use your phone, Google Maps, you will have a nice chart, a nice photo and even the directions on how to go to your favorite MRT station. But what you may have missed is that there are some very strict rules inside of the MRT. The most important one being that you're not allowed to eat or drink inside the MRT station once you have passed those gates and that includes chewing gum. Now these rules are all here for a reason and that reason is to continue keeping Taipei MRT one of the cleanest and nicest in the entire world. So even if it does not sound like such a big deal to be chewing gum on the MRT, please respect these rules and just wait with chewing your gum, eating your sweet potato fries or drinking your bubble milk tea until you reach your final destination and then you can head out to another night market or do what you want. Now the remaining three tips on my list here today all have to do with travel in Taipei and Taiwan. And although the MRT system is the heart of Taipei travel, 
don't be afraid of taking the buses because sometimes it might take you 30 to even 40 minutes to go from one MRT station to another but if you just spend one minute do a quick Google map search for public transports you will see that there will be buses that will take you right there in just a couple of minutes and it's a huge time saver problem is that if you actually go to the bus stations all the signs are still only in Chinese so it could be very intimidating but again use Google Maps search for public transport you will see the bus number and the time it will take you to get there and you will be able to figure it all out now tip number two is actually to ignore tip number three and four because you do not only want to travel within Taipei Taiwan has so much more to offer and it's super convenient to leave Taipei take a high-speed train down to Kaohsiung take another local train up to Pingxi Reifang area and explore the most beautiful sceneries my absolute favorite hike is called Teapot Mountain you have a video I made up here you should definitely go and check it out your mind will be blown and your life will never be the same in a good way uh, so I highly highly recommend that if you have a longer weekend you should also head down to Hualien and a place called Taroko Gorge if you're feeling even more adventurous there are plenty of small islands outside of Taiwan as well which may or may not show up if you just do a normal Google search or TripAdvisor so you should definitely check out that as well we have Kinmen, Matsu, Xiaoliuqiu, Green Islands, Penghu there are so many places to check out so please do not waste any weekend in Taipei if you live in Taipei you have Monday to Friday to check it out Saturday and Sundays are for traveling definitely try to leave Taipei even on a rainy day definitely go and check it out I promise you that you will not regret it and now finally tip number one the moment we've all been waiting for the most important tip I can possibly give to any new exchange students new visitors short-term tourists and to all local Taiwanese people that have lived in Taiwan their entire life Please subscribe to this channel to make sure that you don't miss any of my future videos where we go out and explore Taiwan and discover new beautiful places on a weekly basis. Thank you all so much for watching. Please do me a favor and like this video and share this with someone who just got to Taiwan, someone who's planning to visit Taiwan or to someone who has lived in Taiwan their entire life but not yet explored all the beautiful places we have here on the island. And please also go and check out Merry Go Round if you're ever interested in renting camera equipment. They have really been super helpful and without them there would not be any videos from me for the next couple of weeks. So thank you guys so much. See you all in the next one.